This video will be teaching you how to make your own custom title screen or title screen mod for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. It's surprisingly easy, you just need the correct tools. And of course, this is for the PC version only. Let's get right into it. First of all, you're going to want CPK Browser from Unleashed. You're going to download this and you're going to put this in the CPK folder of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So I'm going to drag it right here. I already have CPK Browser in there, so I'll just replace. Now, drag Data 1 into CPK Browser. You are going to go down to Data, Data, UI, Iggy. You're going to click on this. You're going to search for Title. And then you're going to Control-A, Extract. So go back to the CPK folder, go into Data 1, Data, UI, Iggy. Files you just extracted will be here. So now, there's lots of files here. What do these mean? Well, it seems as if the game has a separate title screen for each language and region. So I'm in the United States and I speak English. So I'm going to find title USN. By the way, this stuff you can just, you can just delete. So you can just, so now here are all the files for all the separate title screens. In order to open these up and retexture them, you're going to need a tool called Iggy Text Pack. So that will also be on the Xenoverse mod site. So Iggy Text, and you'll see Iggy Text Pack right here. It's a bit of an old tool, but it still works just fine. So you're going to want to download that and put that where your Iggy files are. So here's how I'm doing it. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to drag that here. So to make it easier for me, I'm just going to delete everything I don't need. Oh my god, I'm on Windows 11, so this is going to be slightly more difficult. Uh, delete. There we go. So now, all you have to do is drag the file you're going to edit into Iggy Text Pack. And you'll get this folder and you can see the assets clearly you should be opening these in paint.net so double click this is the xenoverse logo and here's all the other assets for the title screen here's the background here's a smoke effect it uses and i just realized i opened the espanol version so as you can see right here it's in spanish the reason they have so many different title screens is for different languages Open these using paint.net, all the assets you're going to edit, and now you can just uh, do what you want. So I made my custom title screen a mock-up of the Skyrim title screen. So you're going to want to save these, and you're going to make sure it's saved as DXT5, like this. So now go to the folder with your files, and drag that back into Iggy Text Pack. As you can see, it's now saved to this file. So all you have to do is put that in the proper directory. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Data, UI. Create a folder if you don't have it. So I'm going to create Iggy. Paste. And now all that's left for you to do is to launch the game. Okay, so this is my custom title screen. Oh, uh, it's it's a mock-up of Skyrim. It's not that good, but for showcasing purposes, this is this is just fine. I'll just show off the buttons they're working and all that, right? Options. So here's one more custom title screen I made. Looks a little bit nicer in my opinion, but I didn't do as much. So to just go over the process one more time, you're gonna need CPK browser. You're gonna use CPK browser to open up. Data 1, go into the Iggy folder and get all the files that say title. Then you're going to get Iggy Text Pack and you're going to use Iggy Text Pack to open the proper file that you want to retexture. So for example, if you live in Australia but speak English, there's probably a file that corresponds with that. That's the title screen you're going to edit. I live in the United States and I speak English, so I edited title USN. And then you're going to put that in the proper directory. Of course, the patcher needs to be installed. And if you, by the way, if you're in an updated version of the game, I have a tutorial on how to da downgrade. But, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. It's a retexture. So, 
This has been Jack Keck.